Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is our Reaction V2 here, and today I'm doing a review of the Logitech Proteus G502 gaming mouse. So here's the technical specs. Let's jump right into it. It's got a 32-bit microprocessor, 1,000 hertz USB response rate. It weighs about 4.3 ounces, and it's got between 200 and 12,000 uh, DPI programmable settings. So let's jump right into the software here. Here's an overview of the mouse, what it looks like, you know, from the kind of top angled uh, view. So you got your, you know, right click, left click, scroll wheel, uh, scroll wheel lock, DPI change button. Here's some programmable buttons here. This is a DPI shift, so whenever you hold this button in, it's going to make your DPI quicker. Uh, so it's really good for if you're playing a shooter and you're, say, sniping. I know a lot of people like their DPI a lot higher when they're sniping. They like to move uh, the mouse quicker. So, but you don't say you don't like that when you're using an assault rifle or an SMG. You hold that in while you're sniping, and you don't have to shift your whole DPI every time you're uh, switching guns, which is a, definitely a nice thing. So, here's your DPI indicator. It shows you which setting you're on. You have you can change a bunch of these settings, and this is a light on the mouse uh, that you can change the settings on. So, let's move forward into the programmable buttons. You can see you can program just about anything, and you can make it just about anything you want. So say if I wanted to make this a you know forward button when I'm on, you just click the button there. You can make it a keystroke, which is kind of cool. If I wanted that to close out of uh, a window or anything like that, paste, things like that. Definitely a super cool feature to have. I keep mine all pretty, uh, pretty standard because I change them in-game. Say in Counter-Strike, this button right here pulls out my pistol, and this button goes to my grenades, lets me cycle through them. So I... I change most of them in game. I don't really like changing them outside of game, but I know a lot of people do, and there's a lot of options for it. So over here, you have your DPI sensitivity. You can change it to whatever you want and change your settings here. Uh, I don't. Oh, how do I? Let's go back. So oh, I changed my settings. There it goes, and now I'm back to my settings. I just change it on the mouse uh, button right here. But yeah, you have a bunch of profiles you can change, which is definitely nice to have. So moving forward, we have the light settings, which the only light on this uh, mouse is the G right here, and you can see it breathing, which is the breathing effect I have. Also known, I think, pulsing, uh, same idea. So if I want it to go faster, you can see it here. It's you know going super fast. If I want it to go super slow, I go over here. It'll pulse really slow, but I like it right around here, just enough to get the effect. You can turn off the brightness if you go all the way down, it'll be uh, dark. So a lot of options there. And then come over here. Here's your surface tuning, which just like it says, uh, I can go right in here, add a new surface. If I played on, say, a wooden surface, you know, I could go put in wooden table and, you know, tune. And you can do it with anything. You don't have to name it what you're playing on. You can name it whatever you want. But you go, you click this, you follow the instructions here, Oop. and then you go right here, and you just keep going like this, and it'll give you the progress bar, and then you're done, you let go, does a little uh, scientific stuff on the old back end, you hit finish, and it's right there. So that's uh, definitely cool, you go in here, I'm going to reapply to my TSM mouse pad, which is what I plan, which you can see right here. So moving forward, the last part on the software gives you a heat sense map. And all you have to do is say you started playing a game, you hit play, and you just come over here and you play your game, click, you know, use your normal buttons, and you stop it and it'll show you what you hit most, what you hit least, which is pretty nice, you know, especially if you've had, say, this mouse for a year or two and you're looking to get a new one and you're curious what you really need and what you use from the mouse the most. If you left it on for like a whole day, you could see which buttons you really do use and which ones you don't need. You know, so say I didn't use this and these. Maybe I only needed a, a mouse with, you know, two buttons and, and this or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Or you know where, where to program your buttons for the next time. Different things like that. You can get all sorts of uh, information out of it, which is very nice. So going to the home, uh, here's back to the overlay. And just all in all, it's a very well-made mouse. The biggest benefit to it is the way it fits in your hand. Oh. One last thing is, if you look right down here, I'll hold it up to the webcam, you can see the bottom, you pop this right up, it's just a magnet, it sits in there nice, and you can see that there's a weight right up here, and uh, it comes with four to five weights, I believe, and 
they all come in there already and it comes with a case. Uh, I only like the one weight up in the corner up here. I think it counterbalances the weight of the mouse really nicely. So that's definitely a good thing. Uh, but you can make it to however you like. Just another customizable feature behind the mouse uh, that makes it, you know, tuned really well for gaming and your personal gaming experience. So definitely a really cool feature there. So all in all, I have mostly good things to say about the mouse. The one or two downsides, in my opinion, is the DPI button here sits right in between uh, the right and left click buttons as well as the scroll lock. And they're kind of easy to hit if you're not paying attention, which can be kind of tedious. But uh, it's nothing insane. It's nothing, you know, that it's like, oh, I would never buy this mouse just for that. It, it's very minor. It doesn't happen that much. And all in all, you know, it feels great in your hand. It, you know, uh, responds really well. So all in all, just a really well-made mouse. If you were uh, thinking about buying it, it's priced pretty reasonably out there. Uh, it's $79.99 on Logitech, and it is, uh, I think, $59.99 at, at Best Buy and $69.99 at Newegg, something like that. So, you know, you can find good deals out there. And if you're thinking about getting it, I would highly recommend it. I know the holidays are coming up. Uh, so, you know, definitely a good, solid mouse to get uh, for a pretty decent, you know, PC gamer. Uh, if you're going to use it a decent amount. So if you like the video, leave a like. If you uh, don't like the video, leave a comment. Let me know what you're doing, what I'm doing wrong, what I should do better. If you liked it, leave a nice comment. Who knows? And uh, also subscribe. And thanks for watching.